vodka and garlic top to death by air drafts. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about how to cure or any virus for that matter, according to Ukrainians. This is obviously a joke. This is obviously not actually how to cure corona. So if that's why you're clicking on this video, it's the wrong spot. Get some wine because it's that time right now. So I know everyone's going a little bit crazy, especially if you guys have kids, grab a drink. Number one way to cure any infection, prevent any infection, virus, anything is vodka. Actually, my dad's the one that gave me this idea for this video without even knowing. The other day he sent me this meme and my dad's not that great with memes, but like in order to get rid of the virus, the you have to disinfect the body with vodka, so drink lots of vodka. And it was like, ha ha ha, my dad was loving this meme. I was like, bruh, what? Number two is garlic. Okay, when I was a little girl and I was getting sick or it was like the flu season, they would make a necklace of garlic and it would protect me from all illness. I would be wearing this in the house, out of the house, would be going to church, I would be wearing this garlic necklace, like, what is going on here? Also, eating a lot of garlic, they definitely believe that eating a lot of garlic prevents a whole lot of illness vodka and garlic top two number three the evil eye this is definitely a huge huge belief in ukraine that it brings upon a lot of misfortune someone being jealous of you can give you a look or like just the negative thoughts of them through the internet that could bring upon a virus or a sickness that's exactly why my mom is always freaking out when i post things about my daughters or i post myself or i post my car or i post anything positive in my life she's like why would you do that you're gonna get the evil eye well, to get rid of the evil eye is the freaking wildest thing okay so let's say Melania my baby daughter that's almost two months the reason that she'll be crying all day will be gas she'll be really gassy or have to burp or something like that right my mom on the other hand she'll see her crying all day and then it'll be because she's gassy but she'll be like oh what did you post did somebody look at her wrong you're endangering your daughter's life here we freaking go again this happens all the time and this is what she does okay so she'll hold my daughter up okay and she'll be like in four directions, you gotta kiss, 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 and then spit, 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 spit. North, south, west, east, all right? So that's how you get rid of the evil eye in Ukraine. <laughs> okay, moving on to a very popular subject that my parents feel very strongly about, which is death by air drafts. According to Ukrainians, you could get seriously ill by air drafts or literally it could lead to death type stuff. I'm not even joking. Let me give you guys a juicy story of what happened to me one summer in Ukraine. Every time I go visit Ukraine, we go to the village and we would visit my great great grandma, right? Or is it great grandma? We go visit my great grandma in the village and it's like a good hour ride or hour and a half ride in this village little bus it's not like the city buses that we have here or like new york city city buses they're not that size they're like half of that size and they cram like 50 people people be like beating each other up trying to get into the village bus trying to get to the village once we got on this bus with my aunt and my cousin and everything i saw this one crack open in one of the windows right on the top on the roof was kind of open a little bit a little bit of crack guess what that creates a draft we're riding we're riding on this bus is a couple minutes hella hot hella hot let me tell you the deodorant in ukraine i don't know what's going on with the deodorant formulas but i don't think they're strong enough because people's piss be stanking there's seats on the bus right and obviously a lot of people are standing as well because like there's like 50 people crammed on this bus they're holding on to the little bars all across the bus and these older women even the younger women like i don't know What's going on they're holding on to the thing and their pits is stanking you kind of get a whiff of it a little bit but you know with the draft and everything with the air coming in it's not as bad i'm sitting next to the window because i can't freaking breathe you know i've been in america for years i'm used to some air circulation you know what i'm saying some ac so we got this draft and i'm i'm all right mm -hmm. 
I'm okay. This older lady, she's like, oh my goodness, my neck is hurting. So she closes the window, right? And I guess someone else hears that her neck is hurting and they notice the top vent is open. So they're like, oh, let me close this too. They close both of the freaking vents. So now there's no air circulation. Whoa, now nah, what's going on here? <laughs> so that brings me to the fifth way to prevent any illness or virus, including and that is air conditioning. Air conditioning is very dangerous, according to Ukrainians. So this is really random, but the sixth thing, sitting on cold surfaces. I remember ever since I was a little girl, I would sit on some stone or something like that with my friends playing outside, and someone would be like, oh, you can't sit on that cold stone. It'll cause infertility. You're never gonna be able to have kids. Damn, like I wanna have kids, so I wouldn't sit on any cold surfaces. Actually, someone messaged me, and they were saying that sitting on cold surfaces like cold stones outside they told them that it causes bladder infections so their whole life they thought it caused bladder infections a good old way to get rid of any virus or prevent illness is holy water literally when it comes to the evil eye when it comes to going out on a trip or going on an airplane, anything going to your graduation, anything crazy or big or if you're really sick. Basically, they just take out the holy water and then spray you with it and do the cross on you and everything. <laughs> Last but not least, I know there's been so much craziness with the corona and some people are taking it more serious than others at first i was kind of like it's just the flu calm down but now i've educated myself and it sounds very very horrible people have been saying on the news that it's like having fluid in your lungs like that's what it feels like the air is thin they can barely breathe and it feels like their lungs are just constantly on fire it's much more serious than i had thought the first week when it was just a joke and like there was a billion memes about it right my mom said the funniest thing because I got her hooked on the New York News NBC4 the tri-state news and then she thought she heard something she's like wait we shouldn't be going outside the air it has the virus Girl. I hope all of you guys are staying safe I hope you're all doing okay and your family members and everything I hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it put a smile on you guys face or whatever let a little giggle out you know what i'm saying don't forget to subscribe like this video don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when i come out with a new video and i appreciate you guys thank you guys so much <laughs>